Pod people, how we doing out there? Coming at you finally with another Pod of the Week episode. I am so sorry. We have been so stinking busy trying to get things accomplished with the facility. Uh, we're just about there, just about finished, and we'll do a little tour once we get things all completely finished and get the snakes in there and everything. Just waiting on some new bedding to finally get here. Um, so yeah, so just, that's about it. Then we'll be wrapped up and ready to roll for a little tour. We got a big sale this weekend for the 4th of July weekend sale. Um, we're doing Saturday, we're doing 10% off all livestock. Um, as well as Sunday, we're doing 10% off all dry goods. Um, so, you know, picking up your food, ice pod food, um, enclosures, things of that nature are going to be 10% off on Sunday. I also wanted to mention that I do have several new uh, species and or morphs uh, just about ready to roll out and go on the website. So keep an eye out for those. In fact, uh, today's ice pod of the week uh, is one of those isopods. Today we got the Priscillianites prunosus orange cream that we're going to check out and those guys are almost almost ready to start kicking out a few cultures uh, on the website so keep an eye out for that and uh, without further ado here we go we'll see you after the video. All right folks here we are with Porcelianites pruinosis orange cream. I'm sure probably quite a few of you guys haven't heard of this one. So um, I actually did a unboxing a while back um, from uh, Roly Poly Rodeo uh, that I got these from my good buddy Derek. So check these dudes out. So it looks like to me that the younger ones have more of an orange coloration to them than the adults. The adults kind of get almost like a a rusty red, brownish kind of rusty color to them as they age. But definitely the youngsters have a lot more of that orange cream to them. Pretty cool little dude. So kind of like uh, the Oreo crumble a lot, but with the orange and white rather than uh, the black and white. So if you guys like the Oreo crumbles, I'm sure you'll like these. Mm -hmm. uh, anywho, pretty standard setup, like most of my setups. I mean, if you've seen one video, you've seen them all. <laughs> but no, seriously though, <laughs> this is pretty much my pretty standard setup for just about everybody. Um, it works for me. Um, and definitely, uh, I mean, it's it's produced a lot of uh, a lot of isopods by doing it the way I do it. So I keep on sticking to what seems to be working for me. Um, but you know, everybody's got their own different ways of setting things up sometimes. Um, so if you got something that's a little bit different and it's working for you, make sure you do it. You know, do do what works for you. I mean, don't by all means you don't have to copy me. You don't have to copy. You know what somebody else tells you to do as long as you're providing your isopods with their necessary needs food moisture space that's pretty much what they need <laughs> uh calcium oh yeah calcium so make sure you're providing those things and then you know make your own deal make it make it uh make it what you want it to be anywho well, I think that'll do it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed these guys and keep an eye out on the website for these guys popping up because as soon as some of these uh, little juveniles are ready to roll, we'll kick out a few cultures of these guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this week's episode of Pod of the Week. Uh, make sure you're hitting all those like buttons across the board there, Instagram, Facebook, hitting the thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Uh, make sure you're smashing that subscribe button and uh, Patreon supporters, thank you so much for all your Patreon support. And uh, just remember folks, for just as little as a dollar a month, um, you can sign up to be a Patreon supporter and help us out. And uh, we'll thank you so much. And you'll get little shout outs, uh, you get some little 
uh, stickers and some, you know, some fun stuff that goes along with it as well as, you know, some of the other tiers get, uh, you know, first dibs on sales coming up, you know, get to hear about those first sneak peeks at new video content, like for instance, Patreon supporters have been getting to check out uh, the updates on the facility before anybody else because we appreciate them and all they do to help us out. So we give them little sneak peeks on that. So that's kind of fun. So if you're interested in stuff like that, make sure you're hitting up our Patreon, podsolo.com. Um, you can get to pretty much everything that we're on from the website. Um, so yeah, we'll see you next week, folks. Make sure you're checking out the videos that'll pop up here, uh, as well as dinging on the little subscribe here at the end of the video as well. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.